Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Romani. I've been locked for about three and a half years and throughout my lock journey, I get so many questions from people who are just starting their locks. They want advice, they want tips, and they wanna know how to navigate this lock journey. So today I'm gonna be giving you some tips for starter locks. So if you have starter locks or you're thinking about starting your lock journey, this is everything that I wish I would have known when I started my lock. My first tip is to wet your hair. So many people on so many videos told me not to, well not me, but they said not to wet your hair when you start locks and that just couldn't be further from the truth. And as I mature in my lock journey, I realized that water has been such an important factor in my hair locking and in the health of my hair. When I first started my lock journey, the videos that I was watching was telling me that water was going to unravel my hair, water was going to make my hair lock slower. And these things just couldn't be further from the truth. And I'm so mad that I listened to it. I only listened to it for a short amount of time, but I could have been wetting my hair during that time i don't even think i wet my hair until the first two months just because i was so nervous to wet my hair but the truth is wetting your hair is actually going to make your hair lock faster it's going to make your hair lock in general just because as black people when water hits our hair and we don't do anything to it our hair begins to mat up no matter what texture or type of hair you have it could be 3a it could be 4c your hair is going to start to lock when you don't do anything to it but it gets wet as it dries it's going to mat up it's going to lock up so when i started wetting my hair i noticed that my hair was locking much faster now the frequency in which you wet your hair depends on you i'm not here to say wet your hair every single day or wet your hair once a week it's up to you but i just want you to know that water is not bad for your hair number two don't over style your hair I know that it's super tempting to want to try all of these lock styles that you're seeing and you want to, you know, do your hair every single day. I want you to remember that locks are low maintenance, meaning you don't have to do your hair every single day. It's much different than what you're used to. I'm sure you're used to either protective styles or loose natural hair. Locks are completely different. You don't have to do a lot to your hair. I personally style my hair every six to eight weeks. If you want to see a tutorial on this style, I just uploaded it. It, but I'm probably going to keep these twists for about four weeks and then I'm going to take my hair down and let it be wavy for the next three or four weeks. So that gives me an eight week mark where I am not doing my hair. The only time that my hands are in my head is when I take my twist out and that is after four weeks. And when you do style your hair, I also want you to be mindful of the tension that you are putting on your scalp. So you don't want to do high tension styles or if you are doing high tension styles, because this could be considered a high tension style, I just make sure that my hair is not like yanked back you know what I mean like you don't want too much tension on your scalp because that's how we have hair loss so any style that is constantly pulling or tugging on your hair especially your edges you don't want to do that and if you're one of those people who are putting protective styles over your starter locks I don't I don't have any problems with it, but I don't think that you should do it all the time. When people start their lock journeys and they may not be used to how they look, they wanna go back to something that's familiar. So they wanna go back to the box braids or the twist or the wigs. I see a lot of wigs. When you are constantly braiding your locks down to put a wig on top of it, I like I don't have any proof, but I just don't think that that can be super helpful um, like for the health of your hair to just constantly braid it down and just constantly manipulate it. I think that locks should be out. They should flourish. They should be in the elements. It's much easier for you to take care of your locks when they're not braided down underneath a wig or when they're not braided into a box braid. Like I think that protective styles are cool I used to do them I don't do them too much anymore just because I like my hair how it is and my hair is mature now I used to do protective styles but I didn't do them often and I don't know I just I don't think that I liked the health of my hair especially when I was like twisting it with braiding hair I felt like my ends will always be raggedy and I just couldn't get with it so now I just twist my own hair I say all this to say if you're gonna do the wigs if you're gonna do the box braids just take some time in between to let your hair 
hair actually breathe. Number three, don't overwash your hair. Like I said before, having locks is completely different than being a loose natural. With being a loose natural, you may wash your hair once a week, but with having locks, you may wash your hair once a month. I personally wash my hair once a month, two times if I just, am, like it's the summer right now. So two times if I'm feeling dirty, like if my scalp is feeling dirty, I wash my hair, but I don't really go over two times. And I just, you know, I don't wanna dry my locks out. I feel like when you're constantly washing your hair with product, it can dry your locks out, which is why we try not to do it too much, especially if you're using some type of clarifying shampoo, you don't wanna clarify your scalp every single day. And as far as my wash routine, I just use apple cider vinegar or I use black soap. Recently, I've just been using black soap because I've been traveling a lot and I don't have apple cider vinegar on me. But when I use apple cider vinegar, I put half apple cider vinegar, half water in a spray bottle. I spray my hair and I just use that as shampoo and it gets all of the dirt and the buildup out of my hair. Right now, I've been using black soap because I just have a bar of black soap and I just do the same thing. So I just really act like it's shampoo. I take the bar of soap and I kind of like go against my scalp and then I do <laughs> I do all the finger things and then you know my hair is clean I don't really use shampoo anymore there was no reason after I discovered that apple cider vinegar was going to like completely clean my hair I I never went back number four always remember it's liquids over oils and I'm not saying that you can't use oils right now I personally do not use oils I found that oils were inflaming my scalp and my scalp was super itchy when I was always oiling my hair I was oiling my hair maybe once or twice a week but it was still too much for my scalp and I've talked to other people with locks and they also had to let the oils go it's just too much you can still use them I just wouldn't do it all the time oil is not a moisturizer I know a lot of people think that oil moisturizes your hair oil seals in the moisture so if your hair is already moisturized and then you put oil in oil is going to lock that moisture in but if you're using oil on dry hair oil is going to lock the dryness in instead of using lots of oils I would say use liquids throughout my lock journey I've loved rose water and I've loved aloe vera juice and I've loved mixing them together and I would add a little bit of oil in that concoction as well the way that I make rose water I just boil roses so I make rose tea and then I just put it in a bottle and I spray it on my scalp and then I'll just buy um, aloe vera juice from the store if you want to spray something other than water on your hair I definitely recommend spraying those because that was the most moisturized my hair has ever felt like I was going through like a super like dry phase when I started using aloe vera juice and rose water mainly the rose water my hair was so hydrated and like I said I did add a little bit of oil into that but I would just lean more towards spraying your hair with liquid rather than trying to like lather your hair in oil all the time. Liquid is going to hydrate the locks so your locks are going to be feeling just soft and very lush. The fifth tip is very short. If your hair unravels, just twist it back. It's not the end of the world if one of your locks unravels. When I first started my lock journey, I was so scared of my hair unraveling and I would just have whole meltdowns about a twist unraveling. Just twist it back. It's even going to stay and it's going to lock and if you watch my videos you already know what this last tip is be patient when we start our lock journeys we automatically want our hair to be down our back we want our two strand twist to be full locks it's just like relax relax your hair is gonna lock when it wants to lock just enjoy the journey because honestly there's no end goal. I know that people love my hair right now and I'm only three and a half years locked. That's just three and a half years. One day I'm gonna be five years locked, six years locked. Like it's going to keep going. There's no finish line. So there's nothing to be rushing to. There's nothing to be rushing towards. And there's no need to stress yourself out over something that is inevitable. Your hair is going to lock if you don't do anything to it. Your hair is going to lock if you stay on your regimen, if you wash your hair. Like your hair is going to lock as time passes. It's inevitable unless you comb your locks out unless you um cut your locks off your hair is going to lock so why are you stressing yourself out about something that you know is going to happen as always if you have any questions about locks or your lock journey or my lock journey you can leave them down in the comments below and if you want to see more videos like this i have a whole playlist of 51 videos of my lock journey i started recording my lock journey on day five so you can literally see three years worth of videos that can help you out on your journey i'm gonna leave that on the screen 
screen and I'm also going to leave it down below in the description box. Thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, like this video, do all the things. And I'll see you in my next video.